And I have to sort of confess to something. I mean, I don't watch it every night, but when there's a flashpoint and it's brought to my attention, I go watch it and I'm shocked at how committed to polarizing the country at every heated moment he is. <laughs> you know what? F*** this. Life is too short and I don't need to see no more of this shit. <laughs> I've had it. I just... <laughs> Then again, you know, I'm just going to leave the bunker and just go rant about this stuff to some other unlucky person. So, you know what? I might as well just monetize it and share the pain with all of you. I'm going to slay Nicole Wallace in this New York Times hack. But first, just give me a quick 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. All right, folks, now it's time to set goals for the next cycle of inflation. This way, you're always moving forward and growing, making money, not losing it. Just imagine having more freedom and having more fun. Start a gold IRA with Noble Gold right now and fight inflation. And this month for every IRA above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call 877-646-5347 right now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. When there's a flashpoint and it's brought to my attention, I go watch it and I'm shocked at how committed to polarizing the country at every heated moment he is. <laughs> Lacking self-awareness is probably understatement of the year here because this rises far beyond Iraqi information minister levels of gaslighting. Brought to us by Newsbusters Tim Graham, MSNBC's oversized glasses wearing huckster Nicole Wallace used a partisan left-wing smear job of Tucker Carlson to spew some of the most unaware gaslighting bullshit to ever spew from this fake news harpy when there's a flashpoint and it's brought to my attention i go watch it and i'm shocked at how committed to polarizing the country at every heated moment he is but but this is totally different this is this is a, a, a an objective analysis of, of every show he's done tell me what you found uh, <laughs> i'm sorry uh what the fuck did you just say it's tucker carlson that capitalizes on flashpoints to sow division maybe that's true i'm not even gonna argue that but the idea that this criticism is coming from one of the most vitriolic disinformation spewing lying hucksters on cable news next to Joy Reid is more than my brain can handle. I'm gonna get to the vile corrosive sh that comes from Nicole Wallace, but I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm gonna get to much, much more of this, but the woman who said this. And I'm shocked at how committed to polarizing the country at every heated moment he is. Also said this. President Obama used the power of the presidency mm -hmm. to try to pass comprehensive immigration reform with the Latino community, Latino leaders at the table. You now have a president, as you said, talking about exterminating right. Latinos. Also, real quick, um, where are the oversized glasses? How am I supposed to know that she's smart and that I should believe what she's saying without the glasses? This is totally different. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! This is this is a, a, a an objective analysis of, of every show he's done. Tell me what you found. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is totally different, followed by this is objective. I guarantee it. Would I lie? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the left-wing New York Times we're talking about. Not to mention that guy, the one who wrote this New York Times article, also works for MSNBC as an anal cyst. Who did they target for this anal cyst? Tucker Carlson and Fox News. They targeted their most prominent ideological and business competitor. Did they target Joy Reid, who stirs up racial polarization and incites violence on a daily basis? Did they target CNN, PBS, NBC, CBS, ABC? Nope. But yeah, we're supposed to believe that this is objective. Go on. Look, his skill is to turn to all the events that are happening in the news. It doesn't matter what it is. Pot legalization, Russia, of course, immigration. Everything is part of this conspiracy by a cabal of elites um, who not only- Who are they? 
It's Democrats, it's AOC, it's Joe Biden, it's Anthony Fauci, it's Chelsea Clinton, it's, it's Colin Kaepernick. It's almost anybody uh, who takes a position that he doesn't like. <clears throat> All right, so this hack claims that Tucker Carlson has a nefarious skill, and that's turning the news into a polarizing conspiracy of the elites. His examples of this happening are pot legalization, illegal immigration, and... <laughs> Russia. And yeah, illegal immigration is going so well and looking to get even better. Who even disputes that there's a conspiracy of the elites at this point? They're just saying it openly on camera. No names like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin, and so on. They all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. I don't see anything wrong with that. Then our sleepy-eyed propagandist here claims that this right-wing conspiracy theory of who's behind the, all the things that Tucker rages about are Democrats, AOC, Joe Biden, Fauci, Clinton, and Kaepernick. It's Democrats, it's AOC, it's Joe Biden, it's Anthony Fauci, it's Chelsea Clinton, it's, it's Colin Kaepernick, it's almost anybody. Uh, who takes a position that he doesn't like. <clears throat> hmm, that's strange. Why did you just cough after you said that, Nicholas? Is it because Democrats, AOC, Joe Biden, Fauci, and Clinton are all people who are involved in politics and are affecting policy? <clears throat> and in the case of Joe Biden and the Democrat Party, the people currently in charge of the country? It almost seems like somebody probably should be out there holding power to account since all the so-called journalists are way more interested in suppressing their critics and political opponents. <clears throat> all they care about is keeping the Democrat party in power. They are all in on it. And what's different about for, um, him from someone like Rush Limbaugh, who told jokes about feminazis and had a much bigger audience. No, 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 no. On Tucker's show, Everything is terrible. They're out to get you because they hate you. They want to destroy you. And Those he says you. I mean, he also addresses his audience. Yeah. You, us, we, them, they. He is yes. sitting there. So it's also rhetorical. It's you, they, you, they. Every night. The repetition <laughs> is part of the technique. <laughs> okay, now is the perfect time. Breaking news. A bombshell. Today is a turning point. Today was historically bad for President Trump. Today was a turning point. A turning point. We're at a turning point. Here. The beginning of the end for the Trump presidency. The beginning of the end. And breaking news. We have another bombshell. Mike Pence might have to assume the office of the presidency. The call for impeachment. Rumblings of the word impeachment. Breaking news. Another bombshell out of the White House. I believe this is the beginning of the end. I do too. It's really the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. He may be feeling the walls closing in on him. All the walls closing in on him. The walls closing in on him. Breaking news, a new bombshell. One astrologer says this means the beginning of the end for President Donald Trump. The beginning of the end of the Trump presidency. Trump will resign. Trump is going to resign. Is this the tipping point? I know we've said it over and over. You think this is a tipping point? And over and over. This is a tipping point. And over and over. Breaking news, President Trump off the rails. It was the beginning of the end today. The beginning of the end. It reminds me a lot of the last days of Nixon. Breaking news tonight, new bombshell. This is the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. The walls are closing in. The walls closing in. The walls closing in. Breaking overnight bombshell. This is a very dramatic day and I think it might be near a tipping point. Do you think this is a tipping point? This is unbelievable. This is remarkable. Have you ever seen anything like this. His presidency is crippled. December 1st, 2017, you can mark it down. This is the day that everything changed. We begin with the bombshell. The beginning of the end. 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 In fact, if this were a football game, we're in the third quarter. May even be the beginning of the end. We begin tonight with the bombshell. Donald Trump is in a lot of trouble. Trump is in trouble. The president will resign. Another hour, another bombshell. This is a tipping point. Trump's going down. This president could be impeached. I do not think the president will serve out his term. Resignation. Resignation. I don't think this president is going to serve out his term. Mr. Trump will not serve out his term. He will not serve out his term. No way 
know-how. Breaking news. An absolute bombshell. I think Donald Trump is in trouble. Donald Trump is not. He's done. And it's over. It's over. The wall's closing in. Oh, the wall's closing in. This is going to be the Achilles heel. Breaking news tonight. I expect Trump to depart. This week will be the watershed week. Trump is in big trouble. Trump's in a lot of trouble. It's a sign of a terrified old man who feels the walls closing in. The walls are increasingly closing in on him. Tonight, the walls are closing in. Today changed everything. This is the beginning of the end. Today, the biggest tipping point for the Trump administration. What a historic day. The bombshells, uh, they fell. It's entropy and it's crumbling internally. He's underwater. He feels the walls closing in. Could his testimony be a turning point? We may be at a tipping point. It's the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. Another bombshell. 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 This is a bombshell. It is a bombshell. I am beginning to resent the word bombshell. <coughs> On Tucker's show, everything is terrible. They're out to get you because they hate you every night. The repetition <clears throat> is part of the technique. These people have no shame self-awareness, principles, or trustworthiness. But if I don't end the video here, this isn't gonna end well for me. So hit that like button and leave a comment because it really helps this video and channel to be seen. <coughs>